Hello. For our daily devotion from the journal Reflecting God, we are continuing in the books of, book of James, chapter 2, verses 20 through 26. It is Thursday, April the 13th, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotions. James, chapter 2, verses 20 through 26. <clears throat> you foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Adam, Abraham, believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. In the same way, was not even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction? As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Teach Me Thy Way, Lord, by Bethany Akers. Here's what Bethany writes. Think of someone you know who you feel exemplifies the characteristics of Christ. Perhaps this person is a mentor, friend, or pastor you know. Think about or take some time to write down a few characteristics about this person that you admire. What is it about their walk with Christ that draws you to them? What are some of the things about their life that allows you to see the person of Christ more clearly? As you think about that person, I would imagine that part of what makes them a Christ-like person is not just what they say or believe, but how they behave. This is because we are drawn to people whose words match their actions or faith matches their deeds, as James would say. This makes sense, as this is how God desires us to live. This is a characteristic of someone walking closely with Jesus. You can tangibly see their faith in what they do. Our love for God is proven in our love for people, and especially for our enemies. Our faith is dead without action, and our actions are dead without faith. The hymn is Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord, by B. Mansell Ramsey. Thy guiding grace afford, teach me thy way. Help me to walk aright, more by faith, less by sight. Lead me with heavenly light, teach me thy way. And from the 116th Psalm, verses 13 and 14. I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. And now for the daily prayer journal of the half million mobilization, excuse me, for Thursday, April the 13th. The scripture verse is Acts chapter 13, verse 2. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work for which I have called them. The scripture insights today is written by Steve Otley, who's a district superintendent in Canada Central. Prayer becomes powerful not when we use the correct words or the right inflection or tone of voice. Prayer becomes powerful when it's about finding the mind of Christ. What is Jesus saying through his spirit? Spending time listening to God in our prayer life is where we find the mind, the mind of Christ. <clears throat> it's interesting in today's scripture that the Holy Spirit speaks while the leaders of the church in Antioch are worshiping and fasting. These early church leaders have made room in their worship as they pray and fast to listen to God. As a result of their listening and obedience, 
The Apostle Paul is commissioned to do what will be a life of mission, planting churches, and writing what became a significant portion of the New Testament. Could it be that God will use you in your context, home, neighborhood, community, church, as you listen to him? Finding the mind of Christ is the roadmap to joining him on mission. Let us be intentional listeners of God. Today's prayer, Lord, help us make space to listen to you in prayer. Help us to be obedient to move in the direction you lead. Empower us to be effective as we join you in your mission of transforming lives, now and for eternity. And this is your daily devotions for Thursday, April the 13th. Have a blessed day.